What's poppin', guys? Sean Don is back with a technical analysis of myself. That's right. I set a PR this past weekend at the Long Beach Invitational uh, after having frustratingly bad 76-meter uh, throws at Mount Sac and earlier in the day at, uh, at Long Beach. So I've been in good shape and training the past few weeks, um, so I've been kind of anticipating this weekend, and I'm glad to have come out of it with uh, a new PR. Um, I think I can definitely still throw further. Um, this throw was good, but I was a little bit fatigued from the, the previous day. Um, so I think barring, uh, you know, physical state, next time I can hit this style of technique in competition, I should throw even further, hopefully, um, which would be in Tucson, Arizona, in a few weeks. Hopefully get that Olympic standard. Hopefully. We'll see. On God's time. When, uh, yeah, I don't know. Whatever. But let's watch it. Yeah, I've been talking for a minute now. And, um, but yeah, this is the last throw, best throw, nice slow clap action going. Um, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and toot my own horn. I think this is my best technical throw um, I've ever done in competition. Arguably the best throw I've ever done ever in general, um, barring one throw that I had back in like 2016 um, in training. This is the the most complete my technique has felt in a competition. Unfortunately, it was only for one throw, but, you know, all it takes is one, and I got the PR, and, um, I don't know, third in the world right now, still number nine U.S. all time. Improved my mark a little bit. Finally broke that 77-meter barrier, though, so that's fun. I call myself a 77-meter hammer thrower. Moving on up. Um, so, yeah, how many times have we watched this now? I don't know, but I could watch this all day long. I love it. Uh, so, like I said, this is this is arguably my best technical throw in uh, competition and possibly ever. So, there's not going to be much for me to uh, break down, I think. I mean, you guys can maybe get my thought process uh, or hear my thought process more throughout the throw. But, uh, yeah. Uh, this is also uh, 60 FPS film, so this is probably going to be a slower um, technical analysis. Um, but otherwise, you can see winding up, weight's nice and split, 50-50, left and right, left side. Keep a nice lined up, shoulder, hip, left knee, ankle, foot, whatever. Um, as the ball comes left, relaxing the arms, stepping up, still square. Well, weight, weight shift to the right side, nice bent, hips forwards, leaning back a little bit with the shoulders, but not terrible. Um, bent legs, turning my shoulders back, super nice to connect with the ball nice and early. Um, and then, as you can see, I'm using my, so as, as, as the ball comes through here, as the ball comes through 270 and through zero, um, specifically 270, I'm thinking about throwing my hands forwards, meaning like in a straight line, uh, pretty much in the direction of where the camera would be. That's kind of where I'm thinking about throwing my hands forwards, relaxing, letting the ball take itself around my left side. Uh, in addition to using my right leg, you can see I'm trying to keep this left side Nice and uh, stable, nice and upright, nice and in line. Um, and I was having problems earlier uh, in the competition and also uh, the day before at Mount Sac. I had a problem with uh, my head and left shoulder and uh, my left side in general just leading the ball by like a couple frames. So like, and even here you can see I kind of do it a little bit through these frames. One, two, three, four. This left side goes just a little bit early. Um, so this last throw, I told my coach, I was like, hey, man, like, I think all the problems that I'm having in my throw right now, I had a lot of left sector fouls. Um, I think that comes back to not being patient enough in the entry, not letting the ball uh, go long enough. And if it doesn't go long enough, it doesn't get enough ahead of me, then that left side will take over and I'll end up uh, rushing some things, standing up a little bit too early and ultimately fouling, uh, either by falling out of the front or just left sector foul. And um, so this throw... He just decided, you know, he, he just yelling at me before the throw to just wait for the ball, let it pass. Um, so that's all I was focused on. Like I said, so after throwing my hands forwards uh, at about 270, I wait for the ball to pass. I use my right side. I'm relaxing, holding, 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 waiting, waiting, waiting. And then um, when I know I really wait for the ball well, it's when my head stays at zero. Left and right side are nice and lined up. And then the ball, it's these. So from zero through like the next like 45 degrees so like this part right here as you can see the ball starts to catch up 
boom, things are starting to line up, passing, waiting for it, waiting for it, waiting for it. And it's like these frames right here, when I feel the ball go ahead just a little bit, just a little bit right there from these, you know, like I said, this 20 degrees or so of ball movement. Um, if I feel the ball go ahead there, uh, it's definitely going to be a decent throw. Um, ball rises a little bit on the left side. That was another problem I had with uh, with my technique at, at Mount Sac the previous day. Ball was super steep over this left side, and because of that, I uh, once I started getting after a little bit more, I couldn't quite put it together, and like I said, fouled out the left side. So my focus today was to keep the ball level over this left side, as you can see. Still rises a little bit, but that's definitely better than the film from yesterday. Um, but uh, but yeah, so you can see I just wait for this ball to pass and do a really good job on the entry. And that's kind of what set this whole throw up. That's why it went so far uh, and went as far as it did. My lower body was tuned in, uh, meaning I had a nice bent legs, pretty solid rhythm. And I was feeling my legs working throughout the earlier throws, which is a good sign for me. But um, I didn't quite feel connected to the upper body because the ball was either rising too much or I was rushing this left side. And uh, this is the one throw that I put it together. I waited for the ball to pass. I kept my left legs nice and bent. Ball doesn't rise too much. Um, as you can see, my right hip comes around my left side. Legs are nice and bent. Hips are nice and level. Shoulders are nice and level. Look at this. That's nice. Ball's at 180. Right hip is driving towards the ball. Nice and low. Barely around that left side. I caught right about there relatively early. Posture, not the greatest. Um, but that being said, uh, it's just the problem with posture. As you can see, my hips are still posteriorly pelvic tilt posteriorly tilted regarding the pelvis but my shoulders are a little bit more over this right side which is not a bad thing um but the more you are on this right side the more of this right leg you have to use and the more you have to wait for the ball to pass and that's what people get wrong is they have this bent or shoulders shoulders forward kind of posture anterior pelvic tilt and then they catch early and then they uh, rush to the left side um, because of it because they don't have a strong enough right side right leg to turn with the ball um and as you can see, I'm settling back onto this left side, uh, shoulder, hip, left heel kind of starting to line up a little bit. And that left heel kind of comes down like right about uh, right about there. So relatively early. Yeah, it looks like I'm probably kind of leaning over to the right side again, but nice bent legs. Like I said, level hips and shoulders for the most part. And I'm just doing a good job waiting for the ball to pass. Right side totally in line with the ball. Everything turning together with it. Yeah, pulling the left side back a little bit, but that's a result of me getting my hips forwards into the throw. Kind of like I said in that last video I made um, a while back talking about posture, getting your hips forward towards the ball helps transfer energy from the ground up through um, up through to the hammer. Um, hip, hips are coming towards the hands. Right hip, once again, kind of chasing the ball out around. Um, and like I said, so I caught a little heavy over here. and uh, But then I do a good job of waiting for the ball and letting the ball pull me back into balance. Over on this left side, as you can see, the ball gets nice and left out over. And it's about the ball movement, not necessarily my shoulder movement. So the ball pulls me into balance around this left side. Super good job uh, with my right leg turning with the ball. As you can see, I don't really extend that left leg too much, and the right leg does a nice job turning and keeping me uh, stable. And yeah, like I said, this video is just going to be me tooting my own horn a bunch of times because I'm really happy with this throw in terms of technique. Um, once again, kind of 50-50 here, not quite lined up over this left heel, but shoulder, hip, you know, just a slight tilt, not bad. But once again, my I caught just perfectly on balance, right leg. So it was about this point in the throw. After that, after the entry, I, I felt the ball whoosh past me, and from there on out, it was just reactive. So I wasn't really thinking at all. I was kind of like blacked out. All I felt was some tension in my fingertips and my legs, and then uh, released the ball, so everything else was reactive. So I don't really remember too much what was going on at this point, but I just felt connected and I felt easy and it felt rhythmic and, and smooth and, and just the tension was there throughout the upper body. You can see once again me settling back onto this left side. Didn't catch super early. But early enough. Like I said, shift back onto this left side. Hip, shoulder, knee, ankle, everything more in line. Right legs doing a killer job once again. Grinding just ahead of the ball. Hips coming towards the hands. Hips coming up towards the high point, stepping forwards towards the ball, shoulders. This is where I think my throw has been really taken off this year is this, this third catch. Um, as you can see, shoulders 
are square to the ball, hips are square to the ball, left knee is nice and bent, hips are underneath me, posterior pelvic tilt once again, right foot comes down and ankle stays nice and stiff. And I do another good job of settling back, boom, settling back onto this left side, hip, knee, ankle, shoulder, all in line. And then as ball comes through zero, slight pendulum backwards. You can see your right leg once again, working ahead of the ball, but then waiting for the ball to pass. Nice in line with this right leg. And then you can see my right leg also. What it feels like is my right leg drives up through my left shoulder, kind of, and that's what helps kind of create that axis for everything to go around. That's why that left shoulder pulls back a little bit. And yeah, sure, I could have I'm maybe dragging a little bit here, pulling a little bit, leading the ball just a hair earlier than I was in the previous turn, That's which is, uh, you know, sure, maybe I could get another, you know, 30 centimeters out of this throw if I let the ball pass just a hair more in this third turn. But that being said, when the ball's going 27, 28 uh, meters per second, around you it's it's very hard to think oh, i'm just going to pause for this split second here just one second longer um so that being said though red side's doing a good job working the ball nice and stable shoulders hips level right hip going around hands towards it ball goes left left knee drops towards the ground right hip drives up towards the ball piston up over this left leg so this is one thing i see a lot of people do wrong is this right leg comes around too much rather than going up and over that left calf shoulders Square to ball, hip, square to ball. Come down on four, square, posterior pelvic tilt, able to get right to work on the ball, deep catch. And then same thing, this right leg just works through. This is finally the catch that I'm kind of looking for. Settle back on that left side, shoulder, hip, knee, whatever, uh, ankle, heel, all that stuff is over this left side. I'm back against the ball. I'm waiting for it once again, right leg. Square hips, shoulders. Right leg's working with the ball. Hips come up and through. I do just enough time, or just long enough, I wait for my uh, for the ball to pass before I straighten out my legs. If I straightened out any earlier, I would have pulled that left side off just a little bit. And then uh, you can see how long and relaxed my arms are. You can see all this force transfer coming up through the ground, through my legs, through my hips, through my shoulders, out into the ball. And because my right hip is trying to get forwards, but my left foot, is just a little bit staggered. This left foot pulls off just a hair. Um, but that's about as good as a finish as I'll probably ever get in competition. You know, can't really complain about that. So, yeah. I mean, overall, like I said, this is my best technical throw I think I've ever taken in competition. Um, and that has shown via distance. But, uh, yeah, like I said, mostly what this all comes down to is, like I said, waiting for the ball to pass and knowing when to act on the ball and when to let the ball act on you. And once I finally did the right thing and let the ball act on me a little bit longer in the entry, everything came together. So, lessons out there. Yeah, sure. Um, it Maybe it looks like I'm pushing, but I'm really not trying to push that hard. I'm just trying to hold position and feel that right side working. Feel the right legs working. Feel the legs working. Feel the hips working in general. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, so just relax and wait for the ball, and most of your hammer problems will fix themselves. Um, as long as you try to work the lower body, keep the right side and left side together. I don't know. Like I said, not much to comment on this throw, in my opinion. If I showed you the Mount Sac film from yesterday, you'd be like, yeah, okay, I see what you're saying. This throw kind of sucks, and the throw from Long Beach is much better. And very solid, good rhythm, good connection, very smooth. It was a throwgasm. Nothing like harnessing the energy of a slow clap. Very solid. And even in this throw, I think um, you can see that my double support in the third turn is finally getting a little bit longer. You know, I'm not rushing it too much. Uh, but I guess, you know, when you catch the third turn very early, you might have to pull off early as well. It depends, you know. Give and take in the hammer throw. Give and take. Nice, smooth. God, I love this throw. I could watch this all day. All right, I'm just rambling at this point. Um, yeah, so if you guys have any questions, if you want a technical analysis of your own, go to SeanDonnelly.biz. Services page, technical analysis, is $15. Sign up now. It's championship season for outdoors. Conference championships are here. Uh, regionals, NCAAs are coming up over the next month. So get your technical analysis, sign up, and then maybe you'll throw 77 meters. Just like your boy. All right, thanks for watching. Sean Don. Peace and out.